Watching skateboarding is awesome. The way they perform tricks seems so effortless. Actually, how hard is skateboarding? These three non-skateboarders set out on a journey to learn over a different period of time from one day up to 30 days. In this video, we're gonna follow along with their progression and see how fast they can learn. Okay, so first up we got Anna McNulty. She kind of learns new skills and she's gonna skateboard for one day and try to master skateboarding. I'm going to try to learn a new challenging skill every day. The only way I've ever used <laughs> what to the skateboard heck? is like this. So that today, is wild. I'm going to try to learn how to skateboard standing up. Okay, we definitely have a warm-up board. My prediction is that she's kind of not gonna have enough like mentorship and idea of how to approach it and not progress too far, but let's see. I was very ambitious and decided the first thing I was going to learn is an ollie, which is basically a trick <laughs> where you jump on top of the skateboard. Not the first, first thing you should try to learn. <laughs> were not that bad, but then- Honestly, I've never seen someone try to ollie from the tail stall. Oh, dang. Some other skateboarders came over and yes. told me that I need to learn how to ride it before trying any tricks. Very good advice from the longboard as well done. The skateboard was pretty challenging at first. Oh, please, please bend the knees. It could not be any more straight. Whoa, be careful. You really just, what? But eventually I finally you really got just gotta learn to stand on the skateboard first. Whoa, we are risking. I mean, it looks like she's having fun. Time to move on to the next skill. What? That's one My day? Come on, Anna, that wasn't really one day. Okay, next up, call me Kevin. I'm not sure what type of creator this guy is. Gaming, I think? I'm ready, are you ready? No. <laughs> so we're gonna go for seven days this time. I have never stood on a skateboard. How hard can it be? I think a good way of getting started is go on wiki how. String the basics. Okay, I think we're getting a bit ahead of ourselves. See, that this is how you approach it. Homie knows that he has zero perception and zero skills, and he's like, I'm actually gonna try to learn this. All the other people seem to just go, give me skateboard, I will learn without anyone saying anything or knowing anything. So like, this seems more promising. I figured I'd pop over to Decathlon and just act like I know what I'm doing. Or nearly accidentally buying children's knee pads and elbow pads. I'm feeling pretty stupid. I've got a helmet, I've got knee pads and <laughs> That is 100% a knee pad. I haven't even taken the board out of the plastic wrap. Stood on the skateboard and everything was fine. <laughs> this is a good way to start. One meter square portion of grass not moving. It looks like those trucks are way too it's elbow too. pads, And I'm not even moving. Everything I just did doesn't matter because it's so much harder on tiles when it's actually trying to move how to skateboard by Braille skateboarding. And their whole oh. channel is so good for everything. Little shout out. Thanks, homie. Also, this line inspired me a lot. Are any skateboards really regular? No one told me that just standing on it is terrifying. I spent the next like 30 oh, minutes here we just go. going back and forth trying to get a feel for it. And Okay, so it's day two. Try and get a bit more confident. Before long, I did Ooh. start to improve a little bit. I yeah. still know it doesn't That's look pretty like good. much, See, look, but it's progress. He, he understands the concept of like center of gravity, be lower and having bend in the knees. So like his instinct now is to really bend his knees and, and keep his back low, which is kind of sick. This is terrifying. This is like a good attempt because so far he's only on day two. It looks like he has legit put like hours into this already, which he's like really given it a chance. To just stand on and off the board because I'm like yeah here we go now, I keep feel the confidence I feel a bit uneasy with this for some reason I feel more comfortable <laughs> I don't know about this area okay. look at what's all this sand I here from that end of the road what a random place he's end. chosen out of all the places he could possibly choose just sure, a, let's do this. Is this a bike park? Yeah. yeah. <laughs> I mean, I, I guess it's all right. I, I feel like a parking lot is better. And it's, it's not that difficult to get an empty parking lot, realistically. And it's kind of a downhill. He's gonna start going pretty fast. Yeah, that's looking pretty good. Close. Risk. I feel like I'm destined to crash. Yeah. <laughs> At least once. It's so much harder than it looks. <laughs> He's doing it. Why do people think that skating's so easy? And I felt this too. I remember when I went to the skate park for the first time from playing Tony Hawk's Person Get a One. I seen how they would go up the ramp and do an air, and I genuinely thought that I was just gonna go up a ramp and do an air. Like I don't know why. I don't know why that you can think that. You just gotta keep going. Mm -hmm. Day four. Mm, mm, let's get but the next thing is you want to get your foot on the kick, you want to start tic tagging you want to start really feeling comfortable to with how your feet are on the board. In a garage for a little bit just to get that the looks good. Nice and smooth in there. 
<laughs> he could lunge a popcorn for sure. Yeah. I wonder if he popcorns. That would be so sick if he does. Once you slam a few times, especially that's why I tell people to try tricks on grass, like try to ollie on grass because you fall on the grass and you fall and you get up and you say, oh, falling wasn't the end of the world. Like we saw in the first one, Anna slammed super hard on her hip and she just goes, ha ha, oh well, whatever. It for free. He's skating all night until the sun goes okay, down. Okay, I want to try to do a trick today. Yes, I say popcorn. Because it's not going to be that special, but it's coming. I figure I have to get at least one yes. or two. Okay, what I want to do is <laughs> yes. flip forward and I yes. want to jump onto it in the same yes. movement. And that's perfect. Kind of impossible now that I've said it out loud. No, you but got I had it. to commit. Oh, this is much harder than I thought it would be. I don't know, maybe I don't need it. Maybe No, maybe, you got you know, it. You got to do it, dog. That, that's enough, you know? That was already kind of scary. See, he that really needs to tighten the trucks. I think it will help him out Anyhow. a lot. All right. Okay. Get it. Uh. Get it. Get it. Oh. <laughs> yeah, we'll count it. I want to see the it. jump at the same time, but we'll count okay. it. Nice. I'm used to doing it on the grass, but of course, with skateboarding, the terror never ends. And that means it's time to practice on the smooth surface. <laughs> I think he's going to slip out. <laughs> he's still just fully on the ground. Yeah. Nice. Oh, Look at that hype, guys. That he is stoked. I feel like he's gonna try to drop in a bank or something. Well, I guess they showed that at the start and just completely slam. Yeah, we're getting there. Oh! Out making All grabbing. up for that loss of time. I guess technically the title could be like 7.1 days of skating. I also learned that apparently the way I was holding it makes me oh, like a noob of dude, skating. Dude, this guy is doing his research. He even knows about the mole yeah, grab. We it was time to hit the skate park. <laughs> yeah. I have never seen a more fitting graffiti. Honestly, <laughs> this was some of the most fun I've had when I was yeah. on skateboard. Super smooth, so it's so much easier to skate on. Time for my hardest challenge yet. <laughs> wow. That's yeah, he'll do. he'll do that it on good? a bank, I think. But on that. <laughs> <laughs> not scary. Which, oh. Small. On yeah, the quarter? Small. Dang. It's scary All right. Stand. I so. do not think he is going to do it on the quarter five. I don't know. I feel like that, that was pretty mellow, but that seems risky. I don't think he's ready. What I would so do if I was him is slamming the board practice tic tacs and I would just roll like I would tighten the trucks and I would just roll down some of this. Look at this beautiful mellow bank to roll down. We don't need to go on a quarter pipe yet. It's gonna be it's gonna be too much. So that you're full <laughs> I don't know. Rather than doing it at a ramp, you can do it on a slope to try and okay. work your way up. Yeah, so that's okay. what I'm gonna try and do. Oh, even this is scary. <laughs> but see, just tits? roll down at first. Oh. Woo hoo! Oh man. <laughs> Ah, oh, even watching it back, I felt it like it's such a... <laughs> okay, so he, the most common thing is they don't lean forward enough. He didn't lean forward enough, and then he fell forward. People love the slams. Ah, <laughs> oh, even watching it back. Hey, shout out to him though, he, he went for it. I did for my own health and safety, I'd abandon this trick, but I'm still really proud of all I've accomplished in seven days. I just wish I could Yeah, you should be. You did good. Like how difficult this actually is to do. The only thing I'll say with this is he's kind of embarrassed, he's kind of shy, he doesn't like being out in public, but if he went to the skate park, maybe not in this, like a peak time, but time where there's just a couple people there, they would help him and they would really make it better for him, you know? Going at 5 a.m. to ensure that there's no one there so he can film it's like kind of shooting himself in the foot a little bit terrifying and then i just go do it go on do it and then you just come in and every time so far it's worked <laughs> except for that i guess i'd reach but, that confidence hey, that I'm like he smooth. would have been able to do it because he just he learned that he needs to push down more and then you got to just take the courage and do it again I'm not going but to i don't think he was really ready yet big... he's earned the sub don't forget to subscribe to my channel too what i was going to think on this video is go to my comments and leave me a nice comment and i'll make a video response as a short Hey Kevin, as a skater, we really try not to judge anyone and we're all learning something and we're happy to have you at the skate park. Don't feel anxious, we love you. Yeah. Oh, my boy, milkshake. <laughs> so next up we have from Glamour, learning to skateboard and Ollie in 30 days with Rochelle Venberg. Hello, my name is Alexandria and Hello. in the next 30 days, I'll be learning how to skateboard. 
Let's get it. My name is Rochelle Dinberg. Women are definitely the minority in this group. Skateboarding yeah, is such shred. an empowering sport, especially for women. It's going to be amazing to recruit another girl. After 30 days of skateboarding, you're going to learn how to ollie. Do I think she's going to do it? I'm gonna it is pretty tough. 30 days, I would say anyone can in 30 days 100% do it but it just depends how hard they yeah, apply themselves. One piece of advice that you would give me going into this whole experience. Okay, get used to falling. Oh, see this, we've got a good so mentor. We got good like, advice right now. Okay, we're going fast. Yeah, okay. Bend the knees, bend, bend the bend knees. knees. Yes, okay, how do I please stop? repeat that. Uh -oh. See, this is a good way to learn with an experienced person so and at a skate park, so you so, like, feel safe. <laughs> Straight away down the ramp. <laughs> Yeah, you definitely need to roll around more. Not yet. I don't know why I thought I was just going to hop on a skateboard and then start gliding with the wind. That shit is hard. <laughs> yeah. I turn into the side. Be careful. <laughs> Be oh, careful. We already on day four. We didn't get anything from day three. And day I seven. around the whole court in a square one time without stopping, just, you know, skating, using my turn. All right, I need to see more Ben in the, the knees. We really just fly. <laughs> Risk. Be careful. <laughs> See, look, she's kind of learned how to bail, too. See how good I'm getting with my turns? I'm yeah. going straight, and then right that, when I'm about to hit my front, I'm like, Skrrr. That is pretty wow. sick. Like, it looks like she's really taking it slow. Oh! <laughs> looks like she's taking it slow and, like, just trying to take her time with it and not try to rush it. Whereas, like, a lot of, when people do these vids, they just really try to just yeah, you, you kick really it straight away. Now we're going to learn how to kick turn. Yeah, there we go. Yeah. Pretty good. I would go. I would start on grass for sure. Okay. Now that you have an idea of like how to do a kick turn stationary, yeah. Why don't you go over there and skate towards me? And I mean, it might be the edit, but these the scenes right. look way too I'll fast. You like, you, you really gotta you learn how to do it before okay. you just kind of like progress. You can't like skip steps, otherwise that will happen. <laughs> People who don't skate, they fall so much harder. Someone who's experienced with skating knows, oh, I'm falling, I must step now to prevent the fall. Or, oh, I'm falling, let's mitigate how much impact I get. But when a non-skater oh, falls, they just it's go okay. down. <laughs> See, I don't, know, I don't know how true this is. I've never watched this before. Definitely would have taught her how to tic-tac before she's off skating for herself with 10 days by herself. Yeah. You know the steps, so now yeah. you can practice them. Okay. And really figure out. Honestly, if she just kept doing that, timing. she yeah. would do Don't it. Don't forget about bending the knees. Oh, wow. Yeah. <sighs> Skating in so a small space I'm like this is it. kind of risky because you could hit your head on the wall or on the floor or on the <laughs> bench, and then you do not want to do that. Yeah. A big improvement. All victories, people. I watched a couple of YouTube tutorials. Yeah. Okay, get away from the road, though. You don't want to fall on the road. That was a good attempt. It's sucky. You just, I mean, yeah, of course it sucks because that's your sixth ever attempt. You just literally have to do that like a thousand times and then you will do it. I'm not used to things not clicking for me. So I'm kind of frustrated today. I'm kind of annoyed. Honestly, I feel like that's the biggest thing is people's mindset going into skating is they think it will be easy. They think you will be able to jump instantly. They think someone can just explain to you, oh, you just do these three steps and then you can ollie. And then they see an experienced skater ollie and it's like, no, that experienced skater has been skating for years and years and years and years. I feel like people's mental attitude is, is always thinking it's easier than it's gonna be. And then they get kind of like a shock when they realize it's so hard and it like hurts their confidence. If they could go in knowing that it's gonna be such a hard thing, I feel like it would help them a lot. It's like, you know what, sleep it off. And then tomorrow is a new day. She has a good so, open mind with this, I think. You don't want to do it in small space like that's so risky partially these are tears Dang. of laughter and um, partial of pain that hurts so much <laughs> Oh no, no You are absolutely not ready for that ramp be careful do not I hope she bails out Oh On the plus side I did notice oh my a difference gosh who's letting her try that 
Went oh my goodness by that was such risk hey shout out to you you got the confidence to send but that was so risky yes. oh my I didn't god even care. <laughs> that's how you can hurt your confidence is you try, take too big of a risk get injured like imagine if she sprained her wrist or something she'll say i'm never skating ever again and you no gotta action. think about the longevity you just have to more time <laughs> which is okay i'm so excited i'm going to meet up with the team right now let's see how far i've come hey yeah <laughs> Look at that All speed. Right, that was good 30. to see. How do you feel? It's been a journey. I yeah. feel excited, nervous to show you what I've been working on. Boom. See. <laughs> yeah. Oh, that's a pretty good ramp. But see, that is different to the other one. Yeah. Pretty solid, honestly. In skating, you do kind of need that level of send. Okay, um, so <laughs> I th Ollie? think she has it. It's not clicking for me. By the end of the day, let's try to get you to Ollie. Yeah, I think they can. Back. Yeah, that's better. Oh! That's sick. That actually gets me feeling emotional. Yeah. You did it. See, you just need a little bit of tips from someone. Can can make I'm a so big difference. Me. Good work. So I think she really wanted to learn to skate and then kind of made this video. Whereas some of these other videos that I've been watching, I feel like they say, oh, this could get some good views if I try to do this. She really went in going for it, you know, and, and that's very admirable. The fact that you went to the skate park on your own as a beginner is amazing. It's actually the most helpful video for beginners. I hope you enjoyed this series. Maybe I should try to get a non-skater and coach them how to skate in 30 days because I feel like I could get them really, really good if they had the right kind of mindset. But that's going to be it. I like skating.